Imagine a not-so-distant future where mankind will not stop ravaging the planet. While you are playing the last fox on Earth, fighting for survival in search of the rare sources of food which are left in this dying world, you see that not only the animals are suffering. Witness humanity itself committing suicide, unwillingly, unknowingly. As the days go by, the water in the rivers, if you still want to call them that, is becoming more and more polluted. You see bodies of water slowly transforming into garbage dumps. No surprise, as you see garbage trucks dumping their toxic loads into the once life-bearing and life-giving rivers. You may experience a dense forest with green and lively flora in the beginning, but as time passes, you will begin to hear chainsaws and falling timber during the day while you and your kits rest in your burrow. Coming out at dusk, you might spot sprayed on markings on the trunks of trees. Soon they'll be gone too. During your daily search for food, you'll encounter people becoming sicklier by the day growing desperately in their attempts to catch you, struggling with, for example, an advancing cough due to the toxicity of the air. They'll end like the trees. They'll be gone one day. Foxes can neither talk nor understand human language, but they are smart, keen observers. So you will experience the world through the senses of the vixen as you guide her along. The animal's senses are transcribed into visuals that will aid in immersing you, the player, into the environment on a deeper level. Visualized, you see what the fox sees, see what she smells, and see what she thinks, remembers, and concludes. The passing of time is represented by the changing of the environment. You see firsthand what humans in this, hopefully, alternative reality are up to and what fate they will endure. Not immediately, but slowly and inevitably. <laughs>